Hey folks, uh, Richard here again, <laughs> KC4YJB on YouTube. Uh, a friend of mine asked me to go into a little more detail on my uh, uh, solar battery charger that I built. First question was where I got the box. Uh, the box is scrap plywood. Uh, the sides are made out of uh, uh, 5 sixteenths plywood that I had. The front is quarter inch Luan plywood, they call it. Um, let's see the reason it's tilted like it is uh, the most direct sunlight I can pick up around here would be at a, a solar cell that was angled at 45 degrees what you do is get you find out your latitude mine's 35 degrees here in South Carolina and you add 10 degrees and that gives you a year-round coverage of the Sun so that's uh, angle is 45 degrees um, what else let's see there's two complete systems here uh, complete systems there's two solar panels that charge two separate banks of batteries one battery bank is made up of uh, two 7 amp hour 12 volt batteries uh, so I got a total of 12 volts at uh, 28 amp hours really if you you know calculate both together but they are split uh, I split them like that so that uh, one panel could charge while you were using power off the other panel uh, and then when it ran down you could just flip the switches back here and uh, set one back to the charge mode uh, and then draw power off the other one uh, I brought out these uh, cigarette lighter outlets so that I could tap off the power. They were neat. Uh, I bought those at an auto parts place. They were fairly cheap. They've got a uh, LED indicator on them, tells you that they're on, and an on and off toggle switch. Uh, the lights, I've got uh, seven uh, LED push lights on this. Here's one here. And uh, there's five LEDs in each one of these lights for a total of 35 lights. And when it's real dark, <laughs> turn all these on and it lights up it lights up real good uh, I'll turn them on in just a second the uh, two solar panels like I said this one and this one charged the main battery bank inside the four solar cells on the top were robbed off of uh, you know, cheap uh, uh, solar cell lights you know that you get to stick on post in your driveway those were <laughs> real cheap and what they do is charge this bank of uh, AA batteries up here, rechargeable AA batteries. So when those are charged, I can pop those batteries out and put them in flashlights or, uh, you know, whatever takes AA's. It will power them. If you're in, a, uh, you know, an emergency, you could power your flashlight. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, this is a uh, luggage carrier. Uh, the thing turned out to be so heavy, I ended up installing it on a luggage carrier. And what it'll do, it'll go up. Let me back up a little bit so you can see that. Uh, that handle extends so you can get, uh, you know, a good angle on it to tilt it back and carry it around with you. But that was pretty neat. That wasn't cheap either. <laughs> that was one of the most expensive things on the project. Okay, let me show you what it does now. I haven't got much time on here. Uh, right now I've got a TV, portable TV radio connected to this thing. Uh, this will play straight with no charging off one battery bank for about 24 hours. Uh, it's connected right now to battery bank number two. I'm going to turn it on. Let's see, I have to do this. And this will play um, off of this for, like I said, 24 hours, or you can watch TV just by flipping these switches around. It'd be too much trouble. You couldn't, even, couldn't see it out here in the light anyway. I couldn't while ago. But uh, I thought that was pretty neat. So in case of emergency, you would have uh, access to radio and television. You know, if you were sitting in the dark somewhere, didn't have uh, commercial AC power. The other part right now, the other half of the battery bank, these switches are both on, so that means I'm putting out power all the way around. I'm going to turn this one back, that's off position, and then back to charge. And that these two batteries on this side start charging through the solar panel up front. Uh, the left one I've still left on. So you can see what it's doing right now. It's charging my cell phone. Uh, it says charging on there. It's kind of bright out here. 
and it's charging up my uh, PlayStation Portable, which has been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. And uh, it is charging because I can see the light indicator on it that it's charging. So that's what that's doing. And since this side is on up here, I'm going to turn on these lights. That's uh, one bank of five LEDs. And drop down here and turn this on and uh, give twice the light, really. Now, according to the current drain on these lights, one light off of uh, one set of batteries will last, I mean, if this is pushing it, but it will last about 70 hours. So if you were trapped in a cave or something, you'd at least have one light uh, for 70 hours or so. They have a bright uh, selection and a dim selection. That's on bright, if you can see it. That's dim, that's off. They tilt, which is pretty cool too. You can tilt them up towards the ceiling or down towards the floor. Um, let's see. That's probably about it. Let me get back so you can get a good shot at it. Right now, well, let me go back over here one more time. I'm gonna turn both of these to the charge mode so they can sit here since it's so bright out here today I might as well charge them up there's the wheels uh, from the uh, luggage carrier and of course that's made onto this box it's real sturdy works real well I drill these holes in there for you know maybe airflow through them I didn't know if the batteries would get hot when they're charging or not but they don't uh, I don't know exactly how much it weighs I would guess about 35 pounds but it's, uh, it's easily portable with those uh, uh, wheels on it and all. And then uh, I'd like to show you the TV, but you can't see it out here. But anyway, I hope that covers uh, the questions that I was asked about this thing. I thought of this. When I did think of it, I was thinking of people that had no electricity. <laughs> I had those people in mind. Uh, you know, there's lots of places in the world have no power, and it's pretty sunny, you know, in Africa and Australia and all. All they'd have to do is sit this box out in the sun all day, and then at night they could drag it back into their uh, dwelling, whatever type it may be, and maybe watch TV or listen to the radio. This will power a laptop, uh, you know, just like a uh, uh, cigarette lighter plug will. Uh, and then in the United States or, uh, you know, other places, you can sit this, if you live in a condo, you can sit it there at your uh, sliding glass doors. As long as it gets some sun during the day, face the east, face the south, it will charge those batteries, and it doesn't take that long either. I'm calculating about four hours of direct sunlight to charge your, the battery banks themselves. So you could charge both of them in four hours if you're, you know, got them in the charge uh, mode. But anyway, I hear my beeper going off. That means I've been on here uh, just about too long. Hope that answers everybody's questions. And uh, stay tuned for more on the Newman Motor. See you later. Bye.